Yo, what's up? It's Wizard Foo, and I'm freaking excited. I got shadows working. Check it out. So it's going to run with a pretty for poor frame rate because both the collision and the AI systems are using way too much uh, tick time right now. But uh, And then also you're seeing the shadows applied way too much. Somehow, you know, um, it's got the character, for example, he's got really bright highlighted edges, which kind of looks cool, actually. Why is the AI attacking me? That was weird. But it, it looks cool, but it's not, it's way too much of the effect. It's supposed to be, uh, you know, he's supposed to see the other half or the other side of the character supposed to be in shadow, not like in deep shadow as it is right now. Um, but I think that's just because the shadows that are being cast are being, are hitting multiple voxels. Um, or I mean, there's multiple shadows being cast onto a single voxel. So that's why it's so dark. It's basically... Uh, having the color and then having it again and having it again until it's like almost zero or even become zero. So, um, but this is super exciting for me to finally get the, uh, the shadows casting again. Um, this is a, um, a, a two, <laughs> this is actually implemented in two dimensions, which is crazy. I didn't even know this was possible, but, um, yeah. So the whole new system for the way this voxel engine works is it basically just, um, it keeps track of every 2D position of every voxel as well as every 3D position. And you can actually cast a shadow in two dimensions and still hit stuff if you test its depth. So that's what's going on. Let's look at the code. Um, basically, it, what it does so far is it creates this structure called cast, which has which stores the EID, the entity that is casting the shadow. It stores the original position in 2D the, of the voxel and the ray for the shadow that it should be casting at in two dimensions, and then the shadow amount, which is just like a negative or positive, how much it's casting a shadow. Uh, and then that hap and then in voxel paint, oh, that was weird. Oh, that's super weird. It's not jumping to my, that function. Um, in voxel paint, it tests its depth first, and then uh, paints the color if it can. And then here, it goes and creates a cast. So it, has, it stores all the casts in a map so that it can, um, that it can not over, or if there's two shadows being cast from the same position, which uh, I think would be unlikely, but anyways, um, it's, it's there anyways to basically cause them to null, one to nullify the other or to overwrite the other. So. It either inserts or applies the or just operator equals the value of that cast. And then, so basically what it's doing here is it's storing up a whole bunch of casts. This is, um, while it's painting voxels, it might paint the same voxel twice. So that's why it has to store up these casts and uh, sort of handle them all at once. So what it does is at the end of all of its painting, it calls voxel cast shadows, which loops over those casts and actually performs the shadow cast. So let's look at what actually happens when it's shadowing or casting the shadow. It's um, it's creating some sort of color for the shadow amount. So, uh, for example, this might be like negative a half of the, co the maximum color value. And so that shadow color right there is um, is what it's going to apply to the the color that is currently there that it finds if it if it hits another voxel. So. It's, what it's doing is it's basically just taking the original position of the voxel that's casting the shadow and then looping over a, some, a certain number of iterations. What it does is it adds the ray, checks that position in um, integer. So basically it's adding a, a floating point um, position to that 2D until it finally clicks over to a new pixel on the, in the two-dimensional buffer of pixels. It's... Um, it, th at that point, then it decides, okay, now we're at a new 2D position. We basically cast, uh, see what the depth is right here. And if the depth is close enough to the original positions, the original 2D positions depth, then it casts the shadow there. And all it does to cast the shadow is it gets the current color, adds that shadow or subtracts that shadow amount, depending on whether it's negative or positive, and then resets that color. So that's all it does. That's how it works. It's basically just a two-dimensional um, hard 
shadow caster. It's actually, it'll have crisp edges to the shadows. I could figure out a way to make the shadows blur, kind of like they did it with Songbringer. But um, I'm really liking the crisp shadows so far. Let's take one more look at that. I'm freaking proud right now. This is super stoked. Stoked excitement inside me. Yeah, I can't wait to make this more beautiful. I mean, this was, uh, this is just a really great start to the day. So I'm excited. You know, there's lots and lots of lots left to do. You see how dirty it is. It's just leaving behind shadows because it's not expanding the entities um, the, or the players' um, bounding box in 2D. Um, where it's, it uses its bounding box in 2D to erase uh, pixels that have been buffered up. Well, what's he doing now? <laughs> I don't know. Lots, you can see there's a ton left to do, but it, good progress. Thanks for watching.